Welcome to another episode of the Recon Jeep Mods. This is the second episode of a series where I'm gonna stretch the front axle position of my XJ Overland build. Today I'm gonna show you how I fabricate the cross member for my long arm setup. And this is the beast we're looking at. It's a three piece design. It's water yet cut. It's press braked and welded. But first, the intro. I got the drawings from my friend Nikolai in Moscow at the Russian company 4x4OK. He sent me the drawings and I got them water yet cut by the guys at AutoCAD in Stockholm. So here is the steel puzzle. Mm. The brackets are water yet cut in 6mm steel, but this press brake it's no problem for it to give it the shape and the bends required for this puzzle. Som smör. Jag är glad att det slit. Jag blåter tungt. Bara en av många delar. Ja. Nej, precis. Vi körde ju bara i 6 mm. It's a really clever design. It's uh, like an IKEA furniture because the parts only fit in one way. So it's impossible to mount them wrong. It did take a little bit of time for me to understand where they should fit. Since I didn't get any instructions from Nikolai, but it took, I don't know, a couple of minutes and mm. then we figured out where all the brackets should fit. So, uh, yeah, really nice design. Thanks. Thanks 4x4 OK and thanks AutoCAD for the parts. Now I have the puzzle back home and start to prepare them for the assemble and well. In my control arms I'm gonna use a bit smaller bolts and a bit uh, narrower bushings so I need to, do, uh, to move this bracket a little bit from this groove down there sit about somewhere around there and then I need to use this to weld on here for the smaller diameter bolts so I have one there and one here on the outside and that will give me the perfect distance in, in between for my bushings.
member with long arms brackets. So now I'm gonna fit this one under the Jeep. And here is where the, uh, the rubber isolator to the trans is gonna sit. That's the standard cross member. Holding the trans with the rubber isolator up there. So I use a jack on the transfer case. Like that, a little bit, yeah. And then I will unbolt the four screws over there. It's filled with dirt right now, but inside there is four bolts. One, two, three, and four. And when I remove the four of them, I can remove the bolts on the sides as well. And I can remove the cross member. I could remove the old one without a problem because the previous owner had lowered the cross member a bit so I guess they had unbolted the bolts not so many years ago so it was it came off quite simple and that's a new one old one if you need an explanation for that one <laughs> so let's see yeah. I'm gonna try to fit that one to the car. See what happens. Looks good. Right now it's bolted. But later on I'm gonna fully weld it to the unibody and it's a three piece design it's quite nice because then you can remove uh, the middle part if you want if you need to change the uh, the isolator for the transfer case or if you need to take down the transmission or transfer transfer case you don't need to remove the whole front suspension because this will still be welded to the to the chassis so now I'm gonna measure from this center line to the lower link bracket on the axle. And uh, start to fabricate the long arms. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'm gonna show you how I fabricate the long arms subscribe like and have a nice day bye